Welcome to F5 and Ansible Lessons, getting started with F5 Big IP and Ansible Automation Platform. Ansible Automation Platform, or AAP for short, provides in its GUI the ability to pull source code from repositories such as GitHub or other Git-based repos. AAP also provides fault credential storage for network, machine, source code, and other forms of credentials in a safe and secure manner. AAP can store and share inventories of hosts and groups while also providing access to projects with playbooks for your environment. All of this running from a safe, secure, and isolated execution environment that runs the Ansible code. In this lesson, we will discuss how Ansible Automation Platform is set up and configured to execute Ansible playbooks for F5 Big IP environments. In our deployment, we have AAP configured to pull our playbooks from a GitHub repo. This will also contain a requirements YAML located in the collections folder. This YAML file will tell AAP to install the required collections needed to execute Big IP code. Without the requirements YAML, the Ansible environment would fail on code execution with missing module errors. We have also exposed the forward slash AWX path in our AAP environment to allow for local file access. These areas exposed could contain sensitive information such as vault YAML files, certificates, installation files, and other items that the user might not want to be stored in a GitHub repository. Logging into our AAP environment, we're going to go under resources and look at hosts. You'll see that there are two big IPs and two Docker web servers. We're going to look at the first, the two big IPs. We're going to make sure that the Ansible host matches with the IP address of those big IPs. Then we're going to go look under inventory. You'll see that the F5 Big IP demo inventory has two groups, load balancer and web servers. The load balancer has the two load balancers and the web servers has two Docker Linux server hosts that we use for presenting a web application. Next, we're going to go over to projects and the F5 BD Ansible lessons and take a look at the Git repository that we've configured. As you can see, the repository is pointed at a Git repository located on GitHub. Going back into the project, we're going to edit it real quick and take a look at some of the configurations. We do an update revision on launch just so that we make sure that when we run any of our code, that it pulls down the latest version of the Git repository to ensure that we're always running the latest version of the code. Going into the credentials section, we're going to take a look at the F5 demo credential, which we'll see is type network with our username admin and our password, which is encrypted. Going into our template section, you can see that each job template is a play from each section or folder from the Git repository we pulled from within the project section earlier. Going into one of the examples, you can see that we have some extra variables, which is also including that local file folder location with the forward slash AWX folder. That's the same path that we use to expose to our isolated jobs, which is a part of our execution environments. If you look at our default execution environment, what it is is mostly like a container environment where we are exposing the local Linux system to that container so that way we can access files from the local system in a secure manner, but not having them in a insecure fashion, such as files that may have sensitive information on your GitHub repository. If we look into our Linux system, you can see that we have some folders in there and all of those files within that folder are exposed to that execution environment so that they can be used. Earlier, I mentioned how we use a requirements YAML to pull out our Ansible Galaxy collections to install into the execution environment. So if we go into our GitHub repo, you can see that there is a requirements YAML and inside of it, the, it calls out the collections that are necessary to run the code. So Without these collections, the code would not run or execute successfully. So if we don't have a requirements YAML, it will use whatever is pre-built into the execution environment. And if it's not available, it will just fail with module execution error. During this lesson, we have discussed how Ansible Automation Platform can be used with F5 Big IP to provide fast, secure, and repeatable configurations. In our future lessons, we will discuss the execution of different Big IP scenarios utilizing a GitHub repository. Feel free to use or fork our own Git repository code located in the link below and watch our other videos for more F5 and Ansible lessons.